Hey guys, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip and in this video we'll be talking about the rare coffees. Coffees that are both expensive and world famous. And these coffees are Kopi Luwak and Geisha Coffee. Here is the deal. This little bag costs almost 35 euros and it's only 40 grams of coffee in it. So one cup of coffee before brewing will cost more than 10 euros. That's crazy, right? But what is even more insane is that it will be probably worse than any specialty coffee you ever tasted. That's the power of good story. People are willing to pay high price for coffee and even people who don't drink coffee at all usually know what Kopi Luwak means. The thing is, that we've never tasted it. We never had the chance because specialty coffee roasters dismiss it and it makes sense, right? But people keep asking us about it. So when we find out that our friends from Sofia, Double Specialty Coffee, carry it together with fantastic coffees like winning Cup of Excellent Lot and Geisha coffees, we were intrigued and we asked them to send over the samples. Now we can compare it side by side with another exclusive and rare coffee. It's Geisha coffee variety produced by Joseph Brodsky in Panama. If you wonder why they sell both coffees, you can find the answer in our article. And now we have coffees that are well roasted and we can compare it and see the quality of the beans. Kopi Luwak is mainly produced in Indonesia. This one we have here is from the Sumatra island. But the name itself doesn't say anything about the coffee variety or the region it was produced in. It's the processing method that happens inside of the digestion system of the little civet cats. That's why it's also called civet coffee sometimes. Especially the coffee community generally consider it as a scam because of poor quality of coffee, lack of traceability, animal rights issue and marketing lies. On the other hand, Geisha variety is considered of very high quality. Originating in Ethiopia, it was rediscovered in Panama in 2004 and it found excellent condition for growth and development there. Geisha coffee variety currently holds the world record in the highest scoring coffee. It was 95.25 out of 100. And this particular lot was sold for over 1,000 US dollar per pound. That's another world record and coffee produced by Joseph Brodsky and the 90 plus won several coffee championships in the last years. So we decided the best way to do the first comparison is to do a little cupping, so let's do that. Wow, <laughs> so this smell is addictive. It's like visiting the perfume shop. Okay, <laughs> this smell is not as, uh, as pleasant, but it's not unpleasant, right? So there's nothing disturbing. It's not very fruity, but it's like chocolate, dark chocolate, like should be a good coffee. So in about 10, seconds we are going to break the crust and open up the coffee and wait another six minutes. So we just finished the cupping with Radek and here are our first impressions. So this cup was a Geisha coffee and in aroma it was crazy, it was full of fruit. In the taste as well we really enjoy it, was clean and a very elegant cup of coffee. And this cup is a Kopi Luwak and uh, I think we had some objections before tasting but in a smell I think there was like the hints of uh, like dark chocolate and it was very pleasant and kind of sweet and in the taste it was actually good it was okay coffee <laughs> I think uh, you wouldn't really want to pay uh, over 10 euros for, for, for a cup but if you say it's a like very well processed clean Indonesian coffee we we'll say yes but probably nothing more so now is the time to brew it and perhaps we will let uh, also some other people taste and share their opinion which one they like better mm. 
So now coffee is brewed, we have both cups ready. This is the Keisha coffee, this is Kapil Duat. And now we are going to bring some of our friends to taste it together and share our opinions. This one will be Keisha. So, we finished the tasting, both cups are empty, and now it's time to share our thoughts. Well, putting something next to Geisha coffee is challenging. It usually stands out through its aroma, fruitiness and complexity. But we did it on purpose, we wanted to compare expensive coffee side by side, and we expected Kopi Luvak to fail miserably. But it didn't. It tasted good. It was probably one of the best Indonesian coffees we ever tasted and some people even prefer it in the blind tasting. But does it justify the high price we pay for it? <laughs> not at all. We are glad we tried, but it's not any better than specialty coffee we usually drink in the office. Also, I need to mention that this coffee was well sourced and roasted, so most of the coffee Luvak you will get will probably be much worse. Thank you guys for watching, we hope that you enjoyed this video. For us, tasting different kind of coffees is always extending the horizon and we are always learning something new. So let us know if it's interesting for you and if you have a chance to taste Kopi Luvak yourself and what you think. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.